back to Vigor. It is your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. This map, Anakin, to all my new players out there, your first five, if not ten encounters, if you can get them in, should be on this map. Now, why do I say that very uh, precarious statement? This map will teach you some things that the tutorial do not even mention. And I'm going to say this as well. If you want to get creamed, as in destroyed, turn on Lone Wolf and come here. And then you'll see what the game is like with the knob turned all the way up to 11. But if you want to play full solos like how I do, that's fine. Still come on to this map. Because I guarantee you, you'll get the gist or begin to get the gist of the game quicker if you come on to this map and no other map for your first 10 encounters rather than choose different maps and I know that's a very controversial thing to say but hear me out matter of fact don't hear me out see me out as in watch this video and see what I do for starters spawn locations and how fucked they are on this game. They don't change. Unless. I came back here specifically for this guy and when I was saying before spawn locations may change because you might spawn in between two people instead of you spawn at one area and the other and the other person spawns at another area like the spawns will change but it won't matter too much especially on this map because you'll know after about 10 encounters you will start to understand where not to go Example right here. You see how I'm not going down to that path that leads to the other island? There's a reason why I'm not doing that. Well, the container is right here. And you see, I'm not even going forward immediately. I'm kind of wandering around it and looking up directly at that ridge line. Because on this map, it's really easy to get spotted. And as I say in most of my videos, it's not death by gunfire. It's death by sight. As in, somebody sees you, they're going to try to hunt you down. Especially on this map, where the paths from different islands are pretty much bare ass in the open. And you can't do a single thing about it. If you're on an island, they're going to watch, set, watch said island and attempt to kill you. If not, watch and see when you leave and try to stalk you. Hooray for the container. I got an M76. You know what I'm saying? Good times, good times. And a B93. AKA the 93R from Black Ops 2. The same three round burst pistol that you could find in the transit bus. I ain't gonna lie, man. Black Ops 2 in games around those eras, well, that era was goated. You feel me? I would give anything to relive. Like from 2008 to like 2000, what 10? Really? Matter of fact, pause. 2004 to 2010, because that's when games, you know, were fun and and felt good, and all that other stuff. But anyways, it's probably another title for another video. But we're still here, and I unrated the container. And the next person I see is right there. Okay, so watch what I do. I'm going to watch him and see what he does, even though the Michael Bay lens flare is in the camera right now. And I notice that he goes into the house. So I'm going to come over here and get closer. Notice how I waited until he got in the house before I got closer. I did that because at that area where he's at right now, the water is stupid loud. 
so he shouldn't hear me coming up to him. But then I get detected by the real detector, and it's right there. And so I'm like, okay, since the detector is right there, and he sees both me and this guy right here, and of course more people that I don't see, he's probably going to go for the area that has most dots. The most red dots on his map. So I decide to change islands. You understand how this works? Not yet? Okay. Pretty much what I'm telling you is, you gotta keep moving. Because there's very little areas to hide. Very little areas. Okay, so boom. Somebody hits a time safe. Now, I don't know who that is, really. It could be the guy that we've seen walk into the house, or it could be the guy that went for the detector. I don't know. But, as VW 1985 uh, says, the best way to get, well, to make sure that nobody's around is to run out in the open and see if you get shot. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna run across the bare center of the map and hopefully not get stuck in the ladybug ass crack that is in the center of this map. And wouldn't you know it, red container. But also, person. And, wait for it, another person right here. You see how this works now? You can't hide like how you can on field content and hide in a little bush. On this map, thankfully, there is no bushes. There isn't. So, you gonna play the game. Regardless. You was gonna play the game. So knowing that this guy is heading for an exit, I think to myself, well, you know, I might get lucky and catch him standing near an exit if not in an exit before the 10 second countdown expires and I might get a smooth headshot. Somebody else is the, the, the real detector again. And I get to about here and I pull up my 9 r because he might have gone for an exit but I'm not too sure. But as I get towards said exit, no crows. Still no crows. Still no crows. Okay, sure. So he left. Alright, cool. I'm going to run up to this lighthouse. You hear that? Comp station. There's a reason why I came over here. So, again, I'll keep the rifle out on me in case I need Paul for a quick headshot or two. Check the staircase. Don't see anybody. And, overweight, radiated, airdrop. That is what you want to see. Now, again, if you're a new player and you're like, Jet, you just put two bad things on an airdrop, yet you found a red container. Don't you want to get the red container? I don't. I want somebody else to get it. That chest, the red chest as the developers put it, is in the bare center of the map. They're basically saying, shoot me here, because I'm already a weakened pinata. You know what I'm saying? Like, a radiated airdrop, when somebody picks it up, they become a pinata with a crack in it. They're already taking damage. The crack is going to get bigger. All you got to do is smack it one good time with your bat. Or in this case, hit the Outlander one good, one good time with your M82, and they're going to drop. And also, you want, and I'm going to take this one step further. The further they go with a radiated airdrop, the less you have to travel to said exit that they were going to. Or, if you're smart, you'll take another exit because, you know, they're already seeing that that homeboy is going for one exit, so they're going to wait at the other exit. The original one. Okay. So I'm going to go prone right here. And I'm going to watch the uh, horizon for a bit, see if I spot anything. And as of right now, I believe I don't. So that red chest is looking quite uh, obtainable right now. However, you just seen the airdrop is about to touch down. Now, I believe I don't have radiation grenades here. I believe I don't. So I can't do anything super sneaky. However, that tells me right there, that tells me that people are in the center of the map. 
It takes one person to place a contact bomb and another person to shoot it. Okay. So we know somebody's over there. I may not see them immediately, but as long as I can catch where they're going, I can make a plan around that. Again, Anakin is built in a very special way. You can catch most people going off to wherever the hell they're going to. Most people. So since that guy's in the center of the map, what I'm going to do is place myself to watch the areas between the center of the map, the detector, and the airdrop. Because if I was in his shoes and I just shot a contact bomb, I would be thinking, who was left? Well, one way to find out, let's go for the detector. You see, I'm looking toward the island right now. Another thing I can do is go for the airdrop. Yes, it is behind a house. Well, those houses and it, the view is pretty much obscure. That's what I'm trying to say here. But if I can catch a slight bit of movement heading toward that direction, I know for a fact of where it's at or where he's at and where he's going. So the airdrop is in the center of the map. This center island, what I like to call Occupancy Island. As in the island is always occupied. That's why I always get killed from right there. I'm going to head this way. I didn't see him go for the for, go for the detector. But does that mean I'm not gonna go for it? No. I don't want to do that. That guy could think right now that he's alone. And I would forgive him for thinking that because I haven't made a single noise since I hit that comm station. But it's been a while since that comm station was hit and me getting over here. So maybe he has built up that sense of false insecurity. Well, false security rather. Wait, false security or true insecurity? Those both mean the same thing. Maybe he developed those senses and he thinks to himself, huh, I'm alone. But as you can clearly see, if he was thinking that he was alone, he would go straight for that airdrop. Or it could be the case of, I'm going to wait and see what everybody else does, and then go for an airdrop. Rare footage here of me actually using a jammer. I haven't placed it yet, I know. But I just did. I'm going to place it in that bush, and I'm going to sit, or lay down rather, go prone rather, right up here. And I'm watching the path toward the airdrop. Kind of like how that guy did with, with his M249 on station. And I'm looking at those houses and I see him. So he never left. That should tell you something.
what if I told you he waited inside those houses the exact same way I waited for him to come out the houses? I'm not saying Anakin's a camp fest. What I'm saying is, if you move, you're spotted. And that's fine, because that's how the game should be. Spot with your eyes, not the port. He went like that, and not the obvious way, which is like this. It makes me smile to see people do really smart things like that. Now, why'd he take that pathway? I don't know. But, honestly, he was going to die anyway. Body armor or not, radiation is going to kill you. Remember, he was radiated and overweight. And, walking in the open, and he didn't know I was there. He took a long way around to avoid anybody who was, you know, still on the map. But he didn't count on somebody who knows the pathways. So, new players... Try that map about 10 times. Because then you'll actually see how the game is meant to be played. And everything else is just an outlier. I'll be sure to catch you in the next episode. Until next time, peace.